So now we'll do an exercise creating web content templates. So at the end of this exercise, we will have learned how to create a structured for featured hotels that includes four fields for test, images, and links. We'll also learn how to create a template for featured hotels that formats different hotel fields into two rows with two columns. Here are the steps that we'll be taking in this exercise. We'll be creating a global snippets file in Visual Studio Code or your preferred IDE. You'll add the snippet content. Also create a structure with two text fields, an image and a link field. And then we'll configure the field labels, repeat the field set three more times to feature four hotels, label the second set of fields, label the third and fourth set of fields, and then we'll import an example featured hotels content Add content to the Livingston landing page, begin creating the featured hotel template, and add code for the image header. After that, we'll also add code for the title and link. And then we'll go back to adding rows and columns, and then the final rows and columns. And then we'll add the template to the platform to include title data, and select the template and view the content. And so with that, let's get into our exercise. So here we're going to create web content templates. We'll start by creating a global snippets file in Visual Studio Code. So we'll open up Visual Studio Code. I have mine opened up and we'll go to the user snippets menu. So if you're on Windows, you'll have to go to file, come down to preferences and there's user snippets. If you're on OS X, there's a gear icon and user snippets. From here, we're going to create a new global snippets file. So we'll click on that. And then we'll type in LFR experience management for the name. Hit enter, then this will open up a code snippets file. We'll then add the snippets content. And so from your module exercises folder, you're going to open up experience management snippets.json. So I'm going to pull this up here. Experience management snippets.json. And then you're gonna select all and then copy the contents of this file. And then we're going to come here into our Visual Code Studio and we'll replace all of this. We can save this. You also have to have your LifeRay Tomcat bundle started up. So go ahead and do that right now. If you haven't, you can open up a terminal window, find your LifeRay bundles folder. And from there, you'll find the startup commands in your LifeRay Tomcat binaries folder. So first, we're going to go to our localhost 8080. We'll come here into Livingston Hotels and Resorts. You'll have to sign in if you're not already. So go ahead and sign in and do that right now. We're going to go into our site administrations from the left side. We'll open up content and data, and then we'll click web content. From here, we're going to find structures at the very top. We'll come in here, and then we'll click add at the top right. From here, we're going to type feature hotel content for the name. And then we're going to drag in a text field from the left into the right column. So we'll find the text field right here. We'll drag this over here. We'll drag actually another text field right under this first one. We'll find a documents and media. So right here, the file icon under the second text field. And then we'll drop a link to page beneath this. And we'll actually nest the document and media and the link to page within the second. So if we move this above, we can see that we nest this and we'll put this on the same level nested within the second text field. And so you should have something that looks like this, a text, and then a second text field with documents and media and link to page right under this. We'll now configure the field labels. And so we'll click on the first text field within our editor. We'll come here and find field label and we'll double click this to change the value name. We'll type in title and hit save. We'll find the second text. We'll change the field label to say text one. We'll hit save. We'll find the documents and media. And then we'll change the field label to say image one. We'll hit save. And then for the link, we'll double click the field label and then we'll type in link one and we'll hit save. So now we'll repeat the field three more times to feature four hotels. So we'll find the add button at the top right of the field we just created for a second set. 
So within this text one, we'll type, we'll find this add icon. We'll click this to duplicate. And then we'll add this again for a third one. And then we'll add one more so that we have a fourth set. So if we scroll, we'll see we have one, two, three, four after we added this. We'll then label the second set of fields. We'll see text one over here. For two, we'll change the field label. We'll actually have to scroll back up, and then change this to text two. Save. For the image, we'll change this from one to two. And hit save. The link will also change this from one to two and hit save. We'll label the third set of fields then. So instead of text one under here, we'll change this to text three. Image one in the third set should be image three. Save. And then down here, the link will change this into link three as well. And finally, we'll label the last set. So this text one will have to become text four. Change the image and then the link. Hit save. And then with all of this, we'll click the save button at the top right of the page. So this will be our structure that we just created. So now we'll create the featured hotel content. So we'll click on the web content tab. From here, we'll click add, and then within the drop down, we'll click featured hotel content. For the name at the top, we'll type in featured hotels. And then for the title field, we'll type in Livingston Group Hotels. Within text one, we'll type in Playa Azul Hotel. And then for image one, we'll select a file, and then we'll upload to select. Then from here, we'll select the Playa Azul, click Add. We'll skip the link for now. For the image, we'll go ahead and we'll select, select the file right here, and we'll choose Grand Livingston, click Add. And then for text two, we'll type in Grand Livingston Hotel. Skip link two as well. We'll go ahead and upload image three. We'll choose Iron Rose for this one. Click Add. And for text three, we'll type in the Iron Rose. And finally, we'll scroll down to the bottom, text four. We'll select the Purple Palace. Go ahead, upload purple and add. For text four, we'll type in Purple Palace Hotel. And then from the top right, we'll go ahead and publish. So right now we're going to add content to the Livingston landing page. From the site administration panel, we're gonna open up home and close that. We'll then find the edit button on the top right side. We'll come over here, we'll see the fragments and widgets sidebar. We'll navigate to the widgets section and then we'll drag in a web content display to the top of the page. Drag it in right here and we should see this. Now we see an options button next to the display. So we'll go ahead and click configuration. And in this pop-up, we see a select button. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then we'll click the featured hotels. And then after that's in here, we'll click save. We can close the pop-up and then we'll click publish. So this is something that you should see after we upload that. We see there's not so much formatting whatsoever, but just a bunch of fields and a bunch of links. So now we're going to be creating the featured hotels template. So we'll go to our exercise source folder. Then we'll open up the featured hotels templates.ftl within Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code and I'm going to drag this in over here. We'll first find the insert 01 div and header body snippet here comment. We'll highlight this and then we'll delete that. And then we'll type in LFR and we'll insert the 01 div header and body snippet. We might have to type in a few more characters, experience manager. So 
from right here, we can click 01 div and header. After the card header aspect ratio line, we'll go ahead and hit enter. And then we'll tab to indent. And then we'll type in LFR experience. And then we'll add the second snippet, hotel image. And then this will generate the snippet that allows us to show the image. We'll also add code for the title and link. So after the div class card body line, we'll go ahead and click enter and hit tab. And then we'll type in LFR experience and then we'll choose hotel title link. Now we'll go ahead and add the second rows and columns. So we'll highlight the 04 top second row column snippet right there. And then we'll type in LFR and then we'll choose 04 top row second management. And then this will insert the second column right here. We'll then have to add the final rows and columns. So we'll highlight the 05 snippet down there. And then we'll go ahead and LFR, select 05 second row, and this will add the third image and the fourth image uh, within the second row, as you can see right there. So now we'll have to add a template to the platform and include in the title data. So we'll go to Livingston Hotels and Resorts in the browser. On the site administration, we'll navigate to content and data. Then we'll browse down to web content. From the top, we'll go ahead and click templates. And then at the top right, we'll add in a template. For the title of the template, it's currently untitled, but we'll type in featured hotel template. You can go ahead and ignore this message right here. Now under the structure field on the right side here, properties panel, we'll click select, and then we'll choose a featured hotel contents structure. Now we'll go ahead and go back into our Visual Studio code. We have all of this within our template and we'll copy all of this. And we'll actually replace the default text in the editor. Now at the very top of the code, we'll see a insert title data here. And then on the left side in the fields section, we'll click the title and this will replace it with title.getData. Now we'll click save. Now we'll go back to the web content tab We'll go to the featured hotels content. And then on the right side, we'll see a default template section. We'll expand this. And we see that we currently have the featured hotels template selected. If this isn't the case for you, you can go ahead and click select. And then you can also change this yourself into the featured hotels template. Now we'll click publish at the top right. And then we'll go open up site administration. We'll click home. And then we'll see that we have a template now for our hotels. So we can view all of the hotels on this page.